I would recommend meeting someone in person. Finding them on Tinder is not going to help anyone. Why is this guy saying you me love? What on earth does that mean? And my teacher's like, maybe that's a bad guy. Hi everyone! Welcome back to How is Korea. My name is Brian from How is Korea and we have a special guest. Tanea, Ms. Clark from Brown Beauty Abroad. Exactly. And we have such an interesting topic to talk about today, which is dating culture in Korea. And we have a lot to say about that. Yes, I have a lot of uh, counter opinions to what you might see on these YouTube videos. So. Let's dig in. <laughs> so what do you think? Uh, what would you say the dating culture in Korea is like? I would say dating culture in Korea is what you make of it. And it's not something that you can take Western dating culture and try to apply to Korea. So um, in the previous video, we were talking about networking. That's also true for the dating culture here in Korea. Because we have this thing called soketing which is like an introduction. So if you want to meet people of quality mm. somewhat, I would recommend being introduced to them or just finding them like out in the wild. But um, finding them on Tinder is not going to help anyone. No? Through my line of work, like all my different gigs, I've talked to a lot of like government employees, kind of like your everyday working Koreans. And every time I tell them about online dating, the first thing they say is, isn't that dangerous? Wow. So pretty much Korea's idea of online dating is what we had about online dating maybe 10 years ago. Mm. So dating online in Korea would be like trying to date on Craigslist. So people are going to say, do you want to lose a liver dating on Craigslist? I mean, like I have met people <laughs> who have found their partners on Craigslist. Mm -hmm. I do know people get married on Craigslist. Would I ever recommend that? No. Mm -hmm. So that is what online dating is in Korea. People are going dumpster diving and have the nerve to be mad that they found trash. So pretty much everyone who goes on Tinder or any other online dating app and it's like, oh, 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 hey, oh, oh, you did it to yourself. Mm. So you're saying that stay, stay away from online dating if you are really thinking about dating in Korea. Yeah, if you want to be treated like a human being, go to places where there are other human beings, not like, I don't know, trolls and like urban dwellers. Like, like I learned this lesson myself back in 2014. Because mm. 2014, I was studying at Yonsei University and I was on these, um, on like apps like Scout or like, just like random apps where you meet and chit chat with people. And then, so I would talk to Korean guys and they would be like really weird and really vulgar. And I was like, is this just a culture difference or... And then I actually like flagged down my Korean teacher and I was like, what? why is this guy saying you, me, love? What on earth does that mean? And my teacher's like, maybe that's a bad guy. And I was like, uh, uh, oh, okay. All right, so I learned that lesson like eight years ago which thank goodness for that because it hasn't gone any better, especially now that a lot of men here have realized that there are foreign women on these apps. We pretty much have like the same pool of 20 English speaking Korean men running through foreign women like socks. So it's like complete home field advantage. And honestly, if I were a guy, I'd probably do it too. Cause it's just candy land out here with all these unsuspecting girls thinking, oh my goodness, I'm gonna find my oppa. It's gonna be just like a boys over flowers. And then yeah, they just get their hearts in their hands. And it's like, you met him on Tinder where of course he's swiping on like 20 other foreign chicks. And then it's just, it's a bad story, especially with how poor sex education is here. Mm -hmm. This is kind of like looking to die, as far as I'm concerned. So um, as you can see, I have very, very strong opinions on dating apps, and um, if anything bad happens on a dating app, stay out the dumpster, mm -hmm. and you won't get infections. 
Well, and I think what you mentioned about how Koreans perceive online dating as, you know, it, it ten, maybe 10 years back um, from what it was perceived in, in the U.S. probably. Um, would you say that's like the biggest difference between like Korean dating culture and like Western dating culture? I would say, actually I think the biggest difference would be people in Korea believe stereotypes more strongly, I would say. For example, um, in our media, in Western media, it's not censored like how Korean media is. So Western media has like a lot of like racy, um, high and heavy type scenes. Versus Korean media, they have like the, the dead fish kiss. <laughs> so a lot of people here are consuming copious amounts of Western media and then expecting, you know, these Western women to be just as what they've seen on TV. Mm. And then a lot of uh, Western girls come with this thought of what they've seen on Korean dramas, like, oh, he's charming and unsuspecting. He would never do anything to hurt me. And then they put their guards all the way down. And then it's just like a recipe for a disaster. So probably, yeah, both parties are believing in stereotypes that they shouldn't. So I think that's probably the biggest hurdle. So if somebody wants to have successful dating in Korea, in Korea, I would recommend meeting someone in person or through a friend. And two, you probably want to meet someone who has experience overseas so that they've already seen for themselves that what they've seen on TV is not necessarily a reflection of reality. Would you say that may be a bit difficult for international folks who are coming to Korea? Because, you know, I think dating apps probably why people rely on because that's easier and more convenient but I see the X coming up so please tell us more about that yeah so in the West we've kind of all accepted that that is how we date that there you're not gonna find anyone else besides a dating app mm -hmm. Korea as I said is kind of like 10 years back where you still could meet someone at a library so I would say in Korea you can just honestly go outside and still meet someone. Like a lot of my partners, I've just met in my everyday life and or met through a friend. So as long as you stay off the apps and just live a normal, healthy social life, I definitely think you can find someone. Wow, this is very interesting. Um, just reflecting on your own experience, we did cover some of the um, tough part and the challenges. Mm -hmm. What were some of the ups of um, dating in Korea? Oh, I would say some of the ups is that um, the men here are willing. Korean men throw themselves. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, the, the men are so willing to the point where this low birth rate doesn't even make sense. So there, there are other things happening over there. Could you tell me more about what you mean by willing? Like I said, they just throw yourself. I mean, I just like go outside and like men have literally lined up before. So like, let's say that there's one guy who comes up to me and they're like, hey, I'm going to go to the bathroom. As soon as that one man goes to the bathroom, the other one, hey, can I get you a drink? And of course, opportunist me will never say no to alcohol. So uh, yeah, that's how I get to go out and never have to pay money for anything. Wow. So they're more willing to approach and say hello and get to know you more. Yes, yes. I mean, pretty much because they're operating on this stereotype that I'm going to be easy and um, what somebody else thinks is none of my concern because I know what I will and will not do. So if they sit there and disappointed, as my dad says, just make sure you're happy. So yeah, I would say the men here are quite willing and also being foreign women, the beauty standards don't necessarily apply to us in the same way. Mm. For example, if we show like shoulder or chest or whatever, it, we're not going to catch the same amount of heat as I would say like a Korean woman would. Mm. We would just be seen as like, oh look, a foreigner doing foreign things. So we kind of get a lot of um, passes for expressing our individuality and then we have a lot of the locals who are very curious and they're like, oh, I see that freedom and that individuality and oh my goodness, forbidden fruit. And well, I mean, there's just a lot going on here where the locals aren't really scared to approach and as I say, the men just shooting their shot and just throwing themselves. So I would say anyone who wants to date out here in Korea, 
yeah, you, you can definitely find a man. I can't promise quality. You, you need a vetting system there. But um, yeah, you can find a man, just don't do it online. Um, now, what do you think about the general perception on interracial dating in Korea? Has it changed, you feel like, over the time you're, you've been here? Um, I think that's quite interesting because I will get stares anyway. Mm. I'm quite tall, I'm quite shapely, I'm a special edition foreigner. So people were going to give me looks regardless. And what I've noticed is that when I'm with a Korean man, we will still get looks except it's more so the heat is going to be on him because the people are like, what is going on? My partner now, he is quite aloof and has a very one-track mind so he never notices the stares ever so i think that's what you have to do you have to find a partner that is not concerned about what other people think that will not be consumed by societal pressures you need to find someone who's only going to care about you and him and be in that world and you know everybody else be darned so yeah it's kind of is what it is i would say it would be similar to if I were in an interracial relationship in the States, people are going to be looking at me first because I'm kind of hard to miss. Mm -hmm. And then if they see them with a um, different looking partner, then that's just going to make them look even more. So, eh, this kind of is what it is. You've already spilled a lot of wisdom um, today. But if there's one thing that you wish somebody had told you um, before you uh, started dating in Korea, what would that be? Alright, so this tip is kind of just for relationships in general in someone's life. Uh, never believe in potential. Believe in what that person is showing you in front of your face. And believe them the first time. Don't do this whole, oh, they'll be better, or oh, they're just going to a rough patra. As soon as that person changes and shows you who they are at that moment, Distance yourself immediately. Do not rely on the notion of they'll change. I have hope. Blah 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 blah. Don't do it. Don't do it. That's a recipe for getting disappointed. Protect yourself and your peace first and foremost. Everyone else be darned. Thank you so much for your time today. It's been a pleasure talking to you about um, your thoughts on dating culture in Korea and. Um, if you have any more questions about dating culture in Korea, please write down a comment below. And also, you can check out Tanea on... Yes, you can find me at Brown Media Brown on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. Any type of questions you have about dating, living and working in Korea, my DMs are open. So I'm excited to hear from all of you. So check that out as well. I don't know why I'm joking. No, I haven't choked up. Oh my goodness. But thank you so much again, thank you for watching, and I cannot wait to come back with more content. But for now, we're going to say goodbye. Bye! Bye.